What you're seeing is nothing short of More. disturbing. This is how I sound on Air Duster. YouTube videos of what's known as huffing Air Duster. The two minute high typically begins by passing out. He broke my duster again. Oh, he's gonna fall, he's gonna fall, oh, he's gonna fall. Followed by what's being described as a euphoric state. Still falling out. Oh my god. A headache, and then sober. Here we Oh, nope, you did it. Good job. Good job. Only to do it all over again. All right. These are what the canisters are supposed to be used for. But in Casper alone, police say at least six people have died in the last three years after the driver had just huffed and passed out, leaving the car in the hands of physics. You'll remember this crash into the Wyoming Medical Center in September. Casper police say the 17-year-old driver had just passed out after huffing. Her car slammed into a concrete block, killing both passengers. The car was estimated going 76 miles an hour. The speed limit there is 30. Frozen. Officer Jones says it's teens to early 20s that usually abuse the inhalant. There are clear signs at the scene of an accident when an air duster induced driver was at fault. The vehicle didn't suddenly swerve off the road, it just kind of drifted off and hit something. There's no explanation generally for the collision other than somebody applying this particular product and passing out and hitting something. That's what's going into people's bodies. Perhaps hey, even most disturbing is where you young abusers are using. For some reason, every client I've had has abused air duster in a car. I don't know why. You would be troubled not to ask yourself, would you want this person behind the wheel? Thank God she ain't driving. And Casper, Andrew Lofholm, K2 News.